magic school bus. Hey, Phoebe! Looks like you've really got the hang of this, Phoebes. Very funny, Carlos. How am I going to get down? Just let go. With less gravity pulling you down, you won't fall so hard. Excellent observation, D.A. Yeah, look at this. Less pull means I can lift this weight with one hand. And so can Liz. They're right, Phoebe. On Earth, I could barely jump off the ground. Now I can jump over Ralphie. Hey, watch it. Yeah, but jumping isn't falling. Sure it is. Falling is just the down part of jumping. Well, okay. If you say so, I'm letting go now. <laughs> Too bad falling isn't this easy on Earth. So why is there less gravity here now? A cheery query, Arnold. Is it because the bus planet got small? Superior supposition, D.A. The less planet you've got, the less gravity it has to pull down on you. Cool. I feel light as a feather. Does less gravity mean things weigh less? Only one way to find out. It's time to weigh in. At home, I weigh about 65 pounds. But here, I only weigh 15. Amazing! I weigh less than I did when I was two. So how much you weigh depends on how much gravity there is to pull down on you. Dynamically deduced. Well, thanks to this field trip, I know what it's like to do a slam dunk. Yeah. So maybe we'd better get back to Earth so you can practice for the real thing. Go home? Now? But what a waste of an opportunity. Keisha, don't you wanna... Play ball! And don't let anything hold you down, class. Man, look how high these balls are bouncing. They may never come down. Oh, they'll come down all right, Tim, just like Phoebe did. With less gravity, it takes a little longer, that's all. Speaking of longer, look at me dribble. My steps are a lot longer and higher than on Earth. And look how much farther I can throw the ball with less gravity. Heads up, Carlos! Carlos 2, Gravity Zip! I did it! Yeah! Way to go, Peeps! Now that's what I call a slam dunk! Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the all frizzle friction free baseball classic! And what a beautifully frictionless day it is. Miss Frizzle, where did you learn to announce like that? You'd be surprised what teachers do during the summer break. But let's talk about the game, D.A. Oh, yes. Well, folks, believe it or not, we're coming to you live from inside my textbook. Our playing field today is slipperier than ice and slicker than spit. The ground out there has no, we repeat, no friction, folks. On the mound is Wanda, one of the most outstanding pitchers in the class. And master of the famed bubblegum ball. You ready for this, Ralphie? Try me. First up is Ralphie, the most fearsome four-foot hitter in the league. And there's the pitch! Whoa! And look at that, folks. The force Wanda used really got that ball going and pushed her way back towards second. It's a swing! I got it! And a miss. No. Oh. Oops. Sorry, Miss Frizzle. Oh, and a serious catcher teacher hip check. Ugh, what's going on here? 
Another pitch. This one looks good! A hot grounder down the third baseline. For Dorothy Ann, what do you think has happened to our batter? Hey, this isn't fun! Oh, honey! They're spinning off the first. Yes, yes, Ralph is going for a double with a spin on it! Oh, dear. Just look at that ball go, folks! <laughs> That's what happens when there's no friction from the ground to slow it down. Oops! Oh, look at Ralphie go! Oh, no. Double play. <laughs> okay, I'll play second. It's all yours! Ralphie! Oh. Yet again, maybe I'll back team up in center. Look out, Keisha! <laughs> Is this baseball? Luther Bashball! Going to be close. Will Ralphie remember that no friction means no slowing down? Whoops! Miss me. Is it just me? Or are we going to collide? Whoa! Do I look like home plate? If you're home plate, I must be safe. I guess baseball isn't exactly field chip material. <gasps> Whoa! The lack of friction was the big pain. Pain? I can't believe you failed to see the wonder of a world without friction. I'd trade all the wonder in the world for box seats, which you might have had if it weren't for your goofy book. And they're off. Mr. Sinew, he's our guy. He's going to win easy as pie. I'm going to win. I've got the muscles. But I've got the heart and the lungs. Sure feels good to be back in the bloodstream, huh, Ralphie? But Miss Frizzle's blood is flowing a lot faster than yours did, Ralphie. Well, what do you want? I was resting, not racing against the Credible Hulk. They're at the halfway point. No telling who's gonna win this one. I've got the edge. <sighs> but I've got the team! farther and farther down her leg. Yeah, but where are the muscles? I think we need to hang a left. What are all those red bands out there? According to my research, that is the muscle fiber. Muscle fiber. Stop the bus. Hey, look at that. The red blood cells are giving that white stuff to the muscles. And then turning back to purple. I gotta go check this out. It's almost as if the muscles are breathing in the white stuff. And breathing out the dark stuff. Phoebe, that's it! Those red blood cells are bringing air to the muscles. Hey, guys, I got it. Air has oxygen. That must be what the white stuff is. Oh. According to my research, oxygen is the part of the air our bodies use to live. So, the lungs breathe in air. The blood cells carry the oxygen. The heart pumps the blood to our muscles, which use the oxygen. So that's the team Miss Frizzle's been talking about. Lungs, blood, heart, and muscles. They're all working together. They're the oxygen team. They work together to pull oxygen into the body, pump it into the muscles, use the oxygen up, and carry away the used up stuff. What a team! So when Miss Frizzle held her breath, her muscles didn't get the oxygen they needed. She didn't have a muscle problem. She had an oxygen problem! I'm going to win! Not if I get there first! <gasps> Ralphie, I think maybe you better come look at this. This doesn't look too good to me. Man, that gray stuff's showing up all over. And there's less oxygen going into the muscles. I think we've got another oxygen problem here. Hello, Tim. We can't keep up this pace. The muscles aren't getting all the oxygen they need. It's going to be really close. <laughs> You're good, Miss Frizzle, but not as good as me. 
Not as good as I, Mr. Sinew! won the race! Uh, whoa. Oh. Oops! I th think I'm going to fall down. <laughs> the score is tied. Only 30 seconds remain. The butterflies have the ball. Phoebe is dribbling it toward the bulldog's goal. Bulldogs, bulldogs, fleezy, fleezy, we're gonna be chat easy, easy. Phoebe, Phoebe, break the tie. Be a winning butterfly. Oh my! Oh no! The bulldogs steal the ball. Come on, Phoebe, get up! Remember, butterflies are new and exciting, and we never give up. <laughs> Oh, it looks bad for the butter. Oh, wait, wait. Keisha steals the ball back. Carlos kicks the ball to Tim. Tim kicks the ball to Phoebe. Oh, time is running out. Five, four, three, two. As I always say, there's no surprise like butterflies. Yeah! <laughs>